Okay, the recent news of Argentina has not been good. Its currency has just devalued like 25% against the dollar. So, what's going on there? I haven't been paying super close attention to Argentina, so I'm going to be reading this article now from the Financial Times talking about what's happening in Argentina and what's going wrong there. Now, historically, Argentina is notorious for having bad economic conditions and just going through collapse again and again and failing to grow. You could, like, do deep research into all of this, but what's happening right now? So I have this article up from the Financial Times, and it's talking about what's currently happening in Argentina. Argentine peso strengthens after capital control measures. Macri government moves to try to prevent the latest debt crisis from spiraling. Yeah, like, when this guy was first elected, they said he was going to be the savior of the economy. But look at him now. He's, like, presiding over a complete crisis and doesn't know what's happening. So, people were sorely mistaken to place their expectations on him. Argentina's peso strengthened on Monday after the government imposed capital controls over the weekend to try to prevent the country's latest debt crisis from spiring. I thought this was a currency crisis, so they're having trouble... Their deficits? I mean, balancing their budget. With cues evident outside some banks in Buenos Aires on Monday, Argentina's finance minister said he believed the currency would now stabilize. The peso rose 6% during the day, although the gap between official and black market exchange rates widened sharply. Officially, the Argentine peso currency closed at 56 pesos to the dollar. Bond prices also initially rose, but analysts said the full impact of the controls would become more apparent when U.S. markets reopened on Tuesday. They fell to a record low on Monday, with Argentina's benchmark international 20 $28 bonds dropping more than two cents to 0.365 according to Rifta Tendera. Capital controls were imposed from Sunday in the wake of the decision by President Marcelo Macri's government to ask for a reprofiling of $101 billion of debt, including $44 billion lent by the IMF. Oh, the IMF being effective as usual. Its proposals were due to be submitted for discussion by Argentina's Congress on Monday. The measures amount to a humiliation for Mr. Macri, who had triumphantly removed capital controls as one of his first acts of government when the investor-friendly leader took power in December 2015 amid a surge in market confidence in Argentina. <laughs> uh-huh. Just like I said, they were all in love with this guy, and he sorely let them down. The moves come as the IMF analyzes whether to disperse the latest installment of its $57 billion bailout program agreed with Argentina during a currency crisis last year. A 5.4 billion tranche is due by the end of the September. Hernan Lacranza, finance minister, said after a cabinet meeting on Monday that the capital controls were uncomfortable but aimed at avoiding greater evils. The value of the dollar is going to remain stable, he said. Argentina's financial situation deteriorates sharply in August after primary elections showed the opposition Peronis candidate, Alberto Fernandez, heading for a convincing win over the more investor-friendly Mr. Macri, an election due on October 27th. That's the problem with relying on foreign investment. You have to keep them 100% happy, or else they dump you like last week's garbage and throw you overboard at the first time of trouble, and then you're left with nothing. Being completely dependent on foreign investors outside your country's control is just not a recipe for stability. Under the capital controls, residents are restricted to foreign exchange purchases of more than 10000 a month. Currency controls might buy the authorities time during the election period, and they avoid burning foreign currency reserves in a futile defense of the exchange rate, but they are straightforwardly negative for the international investors, wrote analyst Telemer, an investment firm in London, in a note by two clients. Although the controls will help protect reserves, they might also add fervor to the unpopularity of the micro-government as it heads into the election on October, they added. 
oh, that government has failed and screwed up royally. They're going to get trounced in the next elections. At least if there's any logic to this world. So what does this guy have to say? Ah, uh, Corrado, Corrado, we have missed you so. All that's seen now is a crack team of IMF austerity, SS, to conduct Brick's Creek on the Argentine economy, and we'll be right back to 2001. Remember back when Mini Macri got elected? They threw open to the economy to some hot money that wrecked it the last time, albeit in a different disguise, and set to work attacking Argentina's already fragile provisions. Remember me saying this would happen, only to be attacked as a communist slash extremist by the same financial services vultures who thought Eli Escadas composed a perfectly acceptable business model. They always tell middle income countries they have to like develop their infrastructure and supply chain so that they can be export economies, even though they have to compete with China, which they just can't. China's a middle income country also, so it has like the same wages they're gonna have, it has the same devalued currency as they have. They has much more practice and deeply developed supply chains. So there's no way they'll ever be compete with it. Even if theoretically they had just as high quality labor and identical factories and supply chains, even if all else was equal, they would still not be able to compete with China because China's higher population gives it superior economics of scale and China's economics of scale would make the country more cost effective and have a competitive advantage over other countries with the same production facilities labor costs, and exchange rates. So building an economy to be dependent on exports and compete with China if it's already a middle-income country with the same wages as China is just doomed to failure from the start and it's never going to work. Yet they always tell these middle-income countries they have to base their economy on exports even though there's no hope of them competing with China. Well, that's my rant about prevailing global economic policies. Okay, so let me just finish this guy's comment. I'll accept the policy by the recommendation from the looters. In the meantime, as for Argentina, I'll simply observe with Hegel that we learn from history that we do not learn from history. Meet the new Kirchner, same as the old Kirchner. Let's see, what does this guy say? Argentina now has a black market official rate of 59 pesos per USD. These cheap USD ones not available to the public, and 64 pesos on the black market per USD. Idiotic government to do this in 2019, merely copying Zimbabwe and Venezuela, all failed states to go the same way eventually. And I admit the capital controls are probably the least worst option compared to just letting the process spiral out of control. But again, they're hopeless. All new attempts to attract investment is now hopeless. And those vultures will just throw Argentina overboard for the first time of trouble anyway, and leave them completely helpless. So it's not going to even work even if they could get the investors. So let's see what this guy says. What a mess. Capital controls will help the panic selling of pesos, particularly by locals and the speculators, thereby taking the edge off a nasty, deep, and destructive recession. But it will hurt the long-term prospects of the economy by discouraging investors and adding significant trade frictions. One feels sorry for Argentina. They're caught between a rock and a hard place as their past keeps messing with their future. Okay, so I'm going to stop reading the comments. I think that's enough for this video. If you like this video, please share it with other people, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave your thoughts in the comments.